So it's no secret that in order to make the best videos possible, you're going to need a pretty good editing software. And most good editing softwares come with a pretty hefty price tag. But I'm going to be showcasing a free editing software that you can download today. And I'm so excited to check it out for you guys. You guys know I love to check out free editing softwares on the channel and show you guys how you can get started off the ground with editing. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So if you want to follow along with this video, check out the link at the top of the description and let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I am in the software itself. Like you guys can see, Mini Tool Movie Maker. Go download the software. It's 100% free. I'll link it down below at the top of the description. But all we got to do once we actually load up the software is just open a new project and we're going to be faced with this interface right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to import some random footage. So normally what I do is I go over and I import like my face cam footage right here. And just like that, we're able to start editing. So I'm just going to drag this into my timeline here. And just like that, we can see that we got the flexibility to actually view all of this. So just like this, we can see that we are given the ability to move through the timeline as well as zoom in and zoom out as well as some adjustable settings up in the top right here. I'm going to get into that in a second. But first off, I'm going to show you guys how you could actually split your video in the software itself. So coming down here, all we got to do is move our playhead to somewhere that we want to split. We'll press the split button and then moving on over here, we go to where we want to split it next, split it there, then come over here and let's say we want to get rid of this dead space, put it here. And then we just right click, press delete. And just like that, it is super simple. So that's pretty much how you just split and delete your footage. So that's super cool. I was able to do that literally in a matter of seconds. And that's pretty much the basics right here. So if we want to adjust the clip itself, we come up here to the video property tab and we're able to manually adjust the contrast, which the default value would just be zero here. I'm just going to drag that back down to zero. Saturation is also able to be changed. You could also just reset it with this button brightness reset it and they actually offer a bunch of different lut presets which is super cool so we can see that there are all these right here walking dead star wars rain mission impossible so you can play around with that yourself but i think that's super cool now if we move over to rotation we are able to rotate the video whatever we'd like we can also flip it horizontally flip it upside down but we're not going to do that and then speed we can also change the speed it'll also show you what duration the video is so if we go like this it will go from two and a half minutes to 36.6 seconds so um, that's cool we could also reverse the speed make it go backwards audio we can fade it in fade it out adjust the volume so that's super super cool another really cool thing that the software offers is music we can literally download a song it'll show this little download bar right here and then all we have to do is actually drag it into our project and this is a cool thing that the software actually offers built in we can see that we got the song in here itself and that's pretty much how you do that i'm not sure if it's copyrighted so i'm not going to play it in the video just because i don't want to get the video taken down um, but yeah that's pretty much how you do that now moving on to transitions they have a bunch of different transitions in here advanced diagonal iris page peel reveals wipe so many different there's 97 different ones and all we got to do to actually do this is apply it to this little arrow thing right here so we can see that's the burn one and let's say that we want to do something like a page peel so let's say we do sweep down and we drag it on this one it does that which is kind of cool and it's kind of hard to notice it but i'm just gonna quickly show you guys the zigzag vertical right here for example go down below and it's like that little weird white thing it's hard to see just because it is the same video uh there's not really a change of scene but that's pretty much that and moving on to effects there are a bunch of different effects here uh pretty similar to just the lut stuff so all it takes is you for you to just literally press add you could add any of these here um and then artistic there's common instagram like motion blur uh, which we just add that on and it's just like a different effect but there's a bunch of different ones you guys can play around with it obviously it comes down to preference so you might as well go try it yourself now coming over here to text this is super cool because i find that text people can struggle with a lot of the time so i'm just dragging in caption three here and we are just able to edit it so we could do so in this video and then we can just select all of it and come down to wherever whatever font we want to use so for example uh J. Granchin is the font i normally use and then text highlight color if we want to actually add a background to it you can change it to black blue whatever you want to do realistically um, if you don't want anything you can just make it transparent also make it italic which is cool align it to the center um, and yeah that's pretty much how you could actually add text you can see there's all these different options right here there's these title screens captions credits all that so mess around with that 
and uh yeah so now with the motion stuff i'm gonna show you how you actually use this so for example all we get to do is split this track here and i do have the motion on this so i'm actually just gonna delete it um if we do like zoom in bottom right here over the course of the video it'll just zoom it in which is super cool uh if you want to zoom it and rotate for some reason you want to do that it's kind of weird but i don't know why you would do that anyways zoom in top you could do that and it literally is just scaling presets which is super cool to actually see that be incorporated in the software we could also do this with zoom out pan only there's so many different options for you to do this and then lastly elements they have all these different pop-ups you can add such as like happy birthday a bunch of these different assets you literally could go through all of them there's like money symbols graphs uh this is good if you're just doing basic level pop-ups and you want to have like assets pop up on your video that's pretty much how you do that one of my favorite things about the software is that they have lower thirds like manually built in like subscribe animations which is super cool and you can literally just bring it down for your video and just like that you have like a built-in subscribe animation that you haven't had to pay any money for and there's also editable like social media templates down here too which is also super super cool i really like that but yeah that's pretty much how you do that we can see right here like the video subscribe get notified you can literally bring that down right here but yeah massive shout out to people over at mini tool for actually making this video possible letting me show you guys the beauty of the software if you guys did enjoy make sure to check out the software down below in the description i always love checking out free software so if you guys have any recommendations of other softwares you want me to check out leave that down below in the comments but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys later peace out